Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Robert the Cowboy Muhammad right here at Premier Leather Crafters. And today, I thought it would be a prime time to show you guys or introduce you guys on how to make your own craft aids. And you can make a craft aid out of any design, any picture, any pictorial, whatever you want to do. You can make and design and create your own craft aid. Save those for future references and then that'll save you a whole lot of money. So what, I, what I'm going to show you today is we're going to go into this real quick. Is Basically, I just saved a piece of tracing film. Uh, and you can actually make these, which would be a great craft aid for uh, belts, uh, Bible covers, book covers, journal covers, whatever have you. You can take this same technique and principle and apply it to anything. To save you a lot of money. So, and what we're going to use, we're going to use our um, Tandy catalog here just to give you how you can just take any print, any picture. And we're going to take it from here. So, uh, let me cut my camera off, okay? And we're just going to use the, the design, the Sheridan design that they have right here. And we're just going to take a little portion of it, a little piece of it. And then I'll go in to show you how you can do your, your beginning and how you can move that and do your end. And then we'll go ahead and show you how to set that up so you can have this piece uh, all the time. And we're just gonna take a regular old pencil and we're just gonna trace the outside border parts of it real quick like. We were not gonna pay any attention to the designing part of the drawing. It's simply because your tools will allow you to do all of those features and things that you see on uh, whatever picture. Like Even like here with our catalog, we're just going to draw a few of the flowers. You don't need to do anything detailed on a craft aid. You just want to use the outside border part of it. And then we're going to let our tools do all of the remaining work. But you will have this craft aid with you all the time. So you'll never have to do this again. Or you never have to carve each piece again. You just simply use your craft aid. And you can use it over and over again. And we're going to show you a very economical way on how to uh, keep these. Now, on one end of your craft aid, which is, will be your beginning, and the other end will be your ending, but you just move that craft aid to repeat itself throughout whatever piece that you're working on, being it a Bible cover, a belt, whatever have you, whatever piece you're working on, you'll be able to use it repeatedly over and over again throughout the whole entire piece. And we're just about done with our tracing part of it. All right, as such. Now see, you just took this part of the, of the picture and you can take your tracing film. You guys can see that. And you just wanna not do so much as the detailing work because your tools will do all of that work by itself. So we just took the outside portion of it uh, the outside part and we just took that like that so and what we'll come back with uh, we will take our uh, and just to show you real quick on how you can utilize this and use this we're just going to take a cut out uh, scrap piece just to show you and you can keep these scrap pieces forever let's um, that back in our box and then we're going to take a take our bottle of water and wet this real good because we really want to give a good impression on this. And what we're going to do, um, we're going to lay our tracing film on top of that. And we'll take our, take our modeling tool with the stylus in, which you can find all of these tools at Tandy, you guys. Uh, you can go on the website and find all of these tools to use. 
and we're just going to trace our drawing. You're going to trace this out real good all over the, the entire piece. Now, you in, in creating your own craft aid, you want to try to find pictures with straight lines. Uh, straight lines are easy for you, uh, especially when you are getting off into carving work. And especially in your drawing parts. And like I said, you want to have your finished picture as well. Because with this, you guys, you can... use your tools with this you can use your tools to finish off all of the detailing and we're just going to trace this onto our belt as such you don't have to be in a hurry and for the sake of the video this might be seem to be moving a little bit fast but we're actually just tracing out the same drawing and you can use this over and over again. Now, you can you can go out there and find whatever craft aid that you choose if you want to just go ahead and spend the money. But what the purposes of this video is, is to show you how you can take any picture and use it as your craft aid. And see... We just traced that right onto the, uh, transferred it onto our leather piece with our stylus. But you can find your pointed stylus. Uh, I have several different kind. Um, even this one actually belonged to my father where it has the modeling, uh, the spoon on the end and it has a point stylus on the end. Or you can go in and purchase uh, your various styluses out there uh, on the market that they have, uh, which everything is available where you guys can choose. Then we're going to take our swivel knife and we're now we're going to do bold cuts into this swivel knife. Bold cuts. We want to really cut down into the leather. Not deep, but you want it to be, you want to make sure that you really cut into this. Really want to cut into it. And that's the great part about having straight line pictures. Is because you can flow with your knife. You don't have to get so detailed. On your craft days, you're not worrying about detail on your craft day. You just want to make sure that you have nice, flowing, bold cuts. Because everything else, like I stated before, is going to be done with your tools. Nothing major. We're not worrying about detailing. We're not worried about anything else except making these cuts really bold. I wish I were able to split this video and show you guys uh, kind of speed the process up a little bit so your nice long cuts that's all we want to focus on is the nice long cuts. Not stopping the knife so much as in to uh, like we're doing detail work. This is strictly for craft aid purposes. So we want to make sure that we be able to keep our knife nice and flowing. Regular cuts. And you also want to make sure that you cover all of your lines, all of your drawings. Make sure you want to do that. You don't want to have a missing petal or anything like that. I mean, you can always go back and add to it, but you don't want to make sure that you miss it in the first go around because then you have to re try to line your tracing film up and hope that you get it in the right place where it doesn't throw you throw your carving work off when we get ready to do this. 
Now, uh, what we're going to do after we get our piece carved, after you get your piece carved out, and I would tell you to do anywhere from a six inch to eight inch um, craft aid, do a six inch to eight inch craft aid, and that can cover a lot of space when you're getting ready to do whatever particular piece you're trying to do. Whether you whether you are doing a belt or a Bible cover, whatever the case may be. Great for Bible covers and large pictorials because that's a lot of retracing and redrawing. So what we're going to do after this, after we got all our lines cut, what we're going to do now is take this, this uh, craft aid template and we're going to put this in the oven on about 50 degrees. 50 degrees in the oven is all you'll need and we're going to draw all of that moisture out. Now, here's the trick to it. As it dry, uh, dries out, it's going to make those cuts start to really separate and pull apart because now we've already cut the integrity of, of, of the leather piece. So as it's dry, drying out, it's going to really make it start to separate and be really bold. Now, um, on you guys, craft aids, if you're buying the plastic ones where you have the little raised bumps, it's you pretty much the same way. But this is just more of an economical way where you can keep and save a lot of money. Now, we're going to speed this along a little bit as if we've already dried this out. And what will happen is when you get ready to start doing your belt blank, you're going to cut your belt blank out as if you would normally prep it. But instead of doing all of that carving and tracing and drawing over again, we're going to take our craft aid and we're going to lay that right on top, opposite side, grain side to grain side. And we're going to lay that right on top of your belt blank. And then you're going to take your mallet. And you really, let me get clear, clear off my slab so it don't make a lot of noise. And we... Just gonna beat this to the other wet leather piece. Uh, if you're doing a belt blank, so and this is the result of what you'll get. Can you guys see that? Let me see if I can get this angled at a better light situation. But you can see the impression from my drawing, just a little bit, just a faint hint of the drawing. Now, if we actually had to put this into the oven and dry that out a little bit, like I said, you want to put your oven on about 50 degrees, the lowest setting you can go. And you want to put it in there for about 20 to 30 minutes. And you can check it periodically. Put it in there 10 minutes, check it, make sure that it's good and dried. And it will be hard, very hard. And you can really actually see the cut start to separate. Put it back in another 10 minutes, Check it again. That should be 20, which it, if it's still not how you like it, put it back in the oven again. And just a regular conventional um, oven, but you want to put it on about 50 degrees, anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. And then you have your craft aid set. Once you have your craft aid stamped into your, your new piece, then after that point, it's just like tracing and drawing, but you've already done it once. And you never have to do it again. And you never have to throw it away. And uh, I have tons of these. Especially when I have customers that, that love the Sheridan design. And love the, the, the Cheyenne prints. Or the, it's, it's so many different things that you can do. Even a lot of my, um, my custom made wallets. Um, with the Cowboy series that we have out. I made one print template craft aid. And that was it. So I know when a customer hits the website and they want to order, uh, they say, hey, look, I like the, the Outlaw Cowboy series. I like the Rebel. So then we'll go in, boom, do the same thing, lay it on top of our web piece, beat all around that, and then our print is already in there. Then it kind of speeds up the process, especially when you have a lot of orders that's coming in. I hope this helped you guys on out there on making your own craft date. Have fun with it. Play around with it. 
um, remember to set your oven at 30 degrees. Do one template and do all of your cuts real bold, straight lines, none of the detailing. Then once you get it stamped into your leather piece, then you can go back and do your detailing and fine tuning there. This is the cowboy, the leather cowboy, Robert Muhammad right here, Premier Leather Crafters. We'll see you guys next time.